Connections between neurons convey information and influence cellular protein synthesis. Regulation of protein synthesis contributes to the synaptic plasticity that underlies learning and memory throughout life. Fragile X mental retardation protein, or FMRP, is present at high concentrations at excitatory synapses, and it plays an important role in regulating protein synthesis in neurons. Fragile X syndrome typically results from a mutation in the FMR1 gene and a resultant loss of FMRP. The absence of FMRP results in both structural and functional abnormalities in neurons that reduce synaptic strength and the capacity of this strength to change with experience. The clinical consequence is impaired learning ability in the patient with Fragile X syndrome. Glutamate is the main excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain and it activates different types of receptors. The NMDA and AMPA receptors convey signals that rapidly change the activity of the postsynaptic neuron. The MGLUR5 receptor stimulates protein synthesis. Gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA, is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the CNS. When GABA activates receptors on axon terminals, it reduces the release of glutamate. This is referred to as presynaptic inhibition. Excitatory synaptic transmission requires release of a sufficient number of glutamate molecules from the presynaptic terminal. In addition, a sufficient number of AMPA and NMDA receptors must be present on the postsynaptic cell membrane and activated to produce excitation. GABA can decrease glutamate release when it binds to GABA B receptors on the presynaptic terminals. Neurotransmitter receptors are synthesized in neurons and inserted into the membrane. After a certain lifetime, they are removed and metabolized. The proteins made when glutamate contacts MGLUR5 facilitate the removal of AMPA and NMDA receptors. FMRP slows the synthesis of these proteins and thus helps maintain AMPA and NMDA receptors in cell membranes. The reduction in AMPA and NMDA receptors associated with the loss of FMRP and unchecked protein synthesis following activation of MGLUR5 are believed to contribute to decreased synaptic strength and plasticity in animal models of Fragile X syndrome. Mice genetically modified to lack the FMR1 gene and thus also FMRP have characteristics related to Fragile X syndrome, including changes in the density and shape of dendritic spines and decreased numbers of AMPA and NMDA receptors. They also have deficiencies in GABA neurotransmission, reduced GABA inhibition, and the absence of FMRP contribute to increased MGLUR5 stimulated protein synthesis and increased removal of AMPA and NMDA receptors. Excessive protein synthesis also contributes to changes in dendritic spines. It has been suggested that spine number increases in order to compensate for impaired signal transduction. These abnormalities may underlie many of the cognitive and behavioral deficits associated with Fragile X syndrome. Administering an MGLUR5 receptor antagonist in an animal model of Fragile X syndrome can stop and reverse this process. The antagonist binds to the MGLUR5 receptor and causes a conformational change that interferes with glutamate binding. This decreases MGLUR5 stimulated protein synthesis and slows removal of AMPA and NMDA receptors. The result is an increase in AMPA and NMDA receptors toward normal levels and restoration of the normal shapes of dendritic spines. Administration of an MGLUR5 antagonist in a mouse model of Fragile X syndrome has led to improvements in learning tasks. However, the clinical significance of these findings is unknown. Increasing GABA-mediated presynaptic inhibition is also being tested for Fragile X syndrome treatment. GABA-mediated reduction in glutamate release and thus the amount of this transmitter available to bind to MGLUR5 receptors may decrease protein synthesis stimulated by this receptor and thus the accelerated removal of AMPA and NMDA receptors and development of abnormal dendritic spines. GABA-B agonist administration in a mouse model of Fragile X syndrome has shown such effects, but 
It is unknown whether this intervention could have a significant benefit in patients with Fragile X syndrome.